What's up, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Happy 28th day of December. We just came out of the movies after watching Collateral Beauty. Um, I'm not going to lie. I fell asleep at the beginning only because I ate something I shouldn't have eaten. And when I eat that stuff, it completely puts me to sleep. But anyway, let's just say I got up right in time to, to start watching the movie when it really, really got good. Um, and this message is going to be very powerful and I totally feel it. And I feel like you guys need to really, really pay attention. Uh, if you haven't watched the movie, I highly recommend that you go out there and actually watch it. Um, if you're going through a, a challenging time in your life, if you're facing challenges with love, time, and just death in life, uh, of, of a lost one or something, I, I would highly recommend you watch it. Um, and it struck it struck a chord in me because for many years now, I've been talking about this, but it never had an identity. And that's something that, that really stood out to me today. And I, and, and I was talking to my lady after we left, like right, right with the last scene is when I said, I get it. I actually get it. And what it actually means is that we need to see the good in the bad that happens to us in our lives. And I think that a lot of times we tend to, you know, the, those three main cores of our life, right? Which is love, time, and death. When one of those things challenge us in our life, we think it's over. We think we're done. We think that there's nothing, there's no recovering off of it. There's no moving forward. We failed. We lost. We, what, what do we do now? And I think that a lot of us self-detriment ourselves in a way that puts us in a situation that there's no way to recover. And I think that what I... My message to a lot of you today is that last year, 2015, at the beginning of last year, I was going through a personal challenge in my life for something I did. Um, and I think that I also felt empty as well, Jazz. Um, and it was one, probably one of the most challenging moments of my life. You know what I'm saying? And it was like... What do I do now? And it, and it had to do with love. You know what I mean? And I discovered a lot of things about myself that I was afraid to love hard. I was afraid to be bold for love. And I think a lot of us are afraid to love because of something that happened to us at one point in our life. And some of us lose an individual in our life and we feel like the our life is over. We feel like it's... There's no turning back from this. Um, that was it. That moment was it. Um, a story that I always like to use when it comes to someone who loses someone is what good are you gonna get what good are you gonna do for that person's life? Um, I always use the amber alert that is cross country that every time a little girl, a little boy uh, gets abducted, this amber alert just hits the streamline, right? And everybody hears about it because that one mom or that one dad took their daughter's death and made something good out of it. They made something positive out of a negative. And I think that if we all take a moment and see what can we do what with our love, with our time, and with the death, what can we do good from what we lost, what we hurt, what felt, what made us feel empty at one point? It will catapult us into a different timeline, into a different world. And I completely get it. It's, it hurts. Like I, I can feel you. Whoever you are right now and you're listening to this, I feel you. I felt that way before. But when I found myself, when I made the self-discovery 
of what I was missing, that is what made the whole change in my life. Because people can tell you what you need to hear, what you want to hear, but not many, not many people are telling you what you need to hear. And that's when you fail. That's when you stay stuck. If you ever felt that motion in your head and you're like, why am I stuck? Why am I not moving forward? Why am I not achieving my goals? Why am I not succeeding? Why, why, why doesn't anybody love me? Why does, every, why does everybody I love, I lose? Like, too many of us are too busy chasing the negatives instead of chasing the positives. If you take a moment, take a step back in your life, if you're going through a hard time right now, if you're going through a moment right now that you just can't get out of and you're stuck at that moment, you're, you're, just, you're in a situation that you just, you're in a corner all by yourself, you feel alone, you have no purpose, you feel like you have no purpose, I want you to just ask yourself, what put me here? What happened here? What happened in this situation that I'm allowing it to get me to where I'm at right now, to make me feel where I'm at? What, what, why, why am I allowing it to break me down instead of lift me up? If you guys take a minute to actually start identifying what puts you in the position, in the situation you are currently in, either with love, time, or death, I want you to take back and I want you to write it down on a piece of paper, but I want you to identify what has happened to you since that you personally have not allowed into your life yet because you're so busy dwelling on that situation. And I think that a lot of us tend to dwell on a situation that doesn't need to be dwelled about. Yes, you went through it, but are you gonna live your life of regret? Are you gonna live your life of nothing, empty? What is your life, what meaning are you gonna leave what, what legacy are you trying to leave if you don't do nothing about something that happened in your life? Because the problem is, is that our gifts that we all have individually have been given to us by the man upstairs, by God Almighty, because he knew that we were powerful enough to do it. But when we miss the signs, what he does is that he gives it to someone else but then he'll give you another gift so that you can go after that thing. But just understand that everything that happens to your life is aligning you to succeed. So collateral beauty is seeing the greatness, the beauty, the, the, the amazingness, the, the love, the time, the, anything of the negative that is going on in your life right now. So if some of you right now are just facing a hard time being a loss of a home, a loss of a love, a loss of a child, a loss of a friend, a loss of money, a loss of a job, I want you to take a step back and pray and tell yourself that is not over. You still have time. You're not ever gonna lose time. The only time you lose is the one you don't gain. Because some of you are just chasing nothing. You just, you, you, you're waking up and you're going to sleep with nothing. You need to ask for more. You need to believe in more. You need to want more. You need to be more. I have a quote right here that I tell everybody about this and not many of you will ever hear about it because it's something that I felt that in my heart and I feel like all of you need to hear it. And it is God has the bucket of every drop of tear 
that will eventually be used to shower you with blessings. And that's a problem. Some of you fear crying. Some of you fear weakness. But some of that is vulnerability and finding out and figuring out what had what has been empty what, what has been making you feel empty inside and if you can just take a step back and identify and create the identity to the situation that puts you where you're at right now i promise you that so much of so many amazing blessings and things are going to come out of it Trust me when I tell you because I've experienced it. And if I've experienced it, so can you. But you got to give it time. You have to be bold for love. You have to respect time. But you also can never cheat death. You have to understand that you can't avoid it. You have to live your life. So when death comes into your life, you are prepared. Yes, we're not always prepared. I get it. I understand. But why can't you be 90% more prepared by understanding the meaning of the life that we all live? So go out today and identify all the negatives, all the bads that has happened to you in your whole life until today. Write them down on a piece of paper. Write them down. But what I want you to do with that is I don't want you to dwell on it. I want you to identify them. And I want you to let it go. I want you to forgive that situation. Because forgiveness is not for the thing or the person. Forgiveness is for yourself. Let it go. You have three more days to the new year. Don't you want to start fresh? Don't you want to start brand new? Don't you want to feel empowered going into 2017 knowing and feeling like the best version of yourself because you decided to identify the things that has kept you behind for all these years? Collateral beauty is identifying the bad, but looking at it in a positive way. But you got to see that. Because for every bad in life, there is good. For every bad in life, there's good. And if you're living a life of complaining, arguing, fighting. You're never going to see the beauty of what life really has to offer. Be open-minded. Let it go. If you're watching this message, I hope you do something with it. Share this message with someone. Go out and give that power that you have inside of you. It took me years, years to identify myself. And now the man upstairs gave me an identity. And my mission in this world 
is to heal people's spirit while building their body the same way I did to myself. What is your identity? What have you gone through in your life that you can identify and make that something to give to the next person that might be going through the same exact thing? If nobody's done it, why can't you be the first? It's not over. You're still walking. You're still breathing. You still have a heartbeat. For as long as you hold on to that, you still have a chance, a fighting chance to make a difference in the world you live in. But what are you willing to do with it? How hard are you willing to fight for you? If you want it bad enough, then go out and get it. Because you're no different than I am. And you're no different than anybody else in this world. Because the one thing that I love to tell people. That your situation is not any worse than mine. Because pain is pain doesn't matter. The pain hurts the same way. Because the situation is just as hard as it was for you. It's just as hard as it is for me. But go out and identify the things that have gotten you stuck exactly where you are right now. Face yourself in the mirror. And tell yourself, no more. It's time to let go. It's time to forgive. My definition of fear is feeling emotional at rebirth. This could be your rebirth. Because now you're tapping into an emotion that has been kept away for many years. But if you're ready, if you're ready to get out of that stuckness that you're in, that's even a word, face it. Because that's the only way you're going to win. That's my meaning of collateral, collateral beauty. And it's finally the things that I've said for years I gain an identity. I used to always say, for every bad, there's a good. And now it has an identity with two words. Collateral beauty. Go out and see the collateral beauty in your life. Once you identify it, embrace it. Because God chose you. You were meant for more. I hope you received this message today. I hope, it's, I hope it touched something inside of you. I hope it empowered you. I hope it healed you. To go out today. Write it down. Do not start the new year. The way you started it. Do not start the new year the way you started the previous years. You can change. We all can. God bless you all. Have an amazing, positive, and fulfilling night. But never forget, and always remember, to have faith, not fear. Whoop, whoop. Heal your spirit. Build your body.